Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel today and I'm concentrating on the driving because it's very cloudy out and this is my day to go to the dentist and I know I've said this in just about every one of my dental journey videos I'm extremely scared but today I'm terrified because if they do what they told me they were going to do in the last visit, which I think they will follow through with it, I will have the remaining teeth that I have left in my head extracted. And there's only nine of them left. And one of them's broke. And they will be putting in my immediate upper plate and pulling these two temporary crowns off putting permanent crowns on and a, a uh, temporary bridge, partial bridge. And now I don't know if they're going to put like permanent crowns in there and the bridge is going to be one that just, that I clamp it in and out or if the permanent bridge, the permanent crowns is going to actually have the bridge permanently attached to it. I don't think that's a possibility because that would mean I could never take it out. I think they're going to remove these crowns and put different crowns in there and give me one of those little snap-in things that snap in. But regardless of what happens, I'm scared, petrified, because... trying to remember if this is where I turn. I know what's going to happen. I'm going to get a bunch of shots. I am going to ask for the gas, the nitrous oxygen. I'm going to be getting a bunch of shots. I know that. The ones on the bottom, I'm not so worried about. I've had those before, except for maybe the ones that they're going to stick in right here. Those might hurt. But I am worried about these on the top being painful because I've heard other people, at least two other people that said those hurt a lot. I didn't get very much sleep last night because I was worried about it mostly. I've been praying all night and all day while I was up that the Lord would just put a hedge of protection around me and not let this hurt as much as I'm thinking it's going to hurt because that has been the case a few times in my life where I've thought that something was going to be bad and it wasn't nearly as bad as I thought like given birth I pictured it being so horribly painful and it wasn't at all it wasn't at all like I thought and then when I had my operation on my neck I had to go in and get a, a thing called a myelogram, which is where they shoot the dye into your spine so they can locate where the damage is. And I had heard that that was going to be extremely painful. And I prayed about that and I cried all the way to the, from the house, all the way, the hour, whole hour drive to the place where they were going to do it. And I cried the whole way because I was so scared. And it didn't hurt. It didn't hurt at all. The Lord protected me. So I'm having faith as a Christian today that that's going to be the case. That there's not going to be a lot of pain. There'll be some, I know, unavoidable, but minimal so that I can tolerate it. Because I'm a big girl and uh, I'm not scared of needles. But I am scared of needles being shot into my gums and my teeth area. So that part I am scared of. Okay, I am now here. And I, as I always do, I'm a little bit early. There's the big tooth on the sidewall of the dentist office and 
I will be going in there in a few minutes. And depending on how I feel when I come back out, I might record. If it's too traumatic and I'm too sore and plus having trouble talking, I will be recording the rest of the video a few days after this. So I'm going to go in now and uh, see what they say. Pray that it goes well for me, please. Okay, y'all, I'm getting ready to go in. This is the mask that I'm wearing today in honor of Valentine's Day. All right, going in now to see how they react to my mask that I'm wearing. Nobody can see me. Oh, I'm walking very slowly into the dentist's office. And I'm going to show you. Here I go inside. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. And uh, I just wanted to pop and cover my mouth up so makes my teeth pop out. I know how A little bit of trouble talking. Bit. And I'll go into more detail in another video and tell you exactly what went on. But I want to show you what I got done so far. Because I do have to go back. But I'm going to show you my teeth so far. And uh, uh, those of you who look at the bottom saying, well, they didn't do a very good job on the bottom. That's because they're not finished on the bottom. Uh, the laboratory messed up on my plates. And they didn't put the teeth in the front of the denture. So he was not able to pull those four teeth on the bottom those four teeth are still there because I don't want to be without teeth and uh, he has to come I have to go back and have them pulled I'll, I'll give you an up to, a full update in another video when I'm feeling better right now I'm at Walmart I just come up here to get my medicines my pain meds and I'm fixing to go home so, this is going to be it for this one because I'm having extensive trouble talking. I'm afraid my denture's going to pop out, so. I'll talk to y'all more later. Bye for this one, and y'all come back anytime.